What's up everyone, welcome back again to my video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to make your Valheim around 100-ish FPS, which is always nice. But if you guys don't want to follow along, there's a link in the description box below. You can just click it. There's a guide on how to gain an FPS boost uh, until like maybe 100-ish. So as we all know, Valheim is an early access game and the optimization is still pretty sad. So there's three steps in this video. So let's get into it. First of all, you need to locate your Valheim, which is in my case, it is in um, D and then go to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then where's Valheim, Valheim, and go to Valheim data and open this boot config. So how do you open this one? So, so right click on it and open with, all right, open with. There's more apps, uh, you go Notepad, Notepad is probably the best choice. So you want to configure this. So here it is. Now you should copy and paste these two lines, okay? Don't worry, I will give it to you. Check the description box. You can just copy and paste it. Okay, so done and press save. That's the first step done. Oh yeah, don't forget to save and then you can close it, okay? Now for the second step, you need to go to your Steam. Uh, right click on Valheim. Wait a minute. Right click on Valheim and go to properties and you can type this. All right, don't worry. Of course, there will be a copy and paste uh, in the description so you guys can copy and paste. Let's go and close it out. All done. Now the third step is pretty easy, but you do have to do this manually every time you reboot or restart your computer. So what you need to do, the third step is that you need to play Valheim first. So let's go and launch Valheim. Right as we are already in the game, you alt tap this Valheim. After alt tabbing your Valheim, you go to task manager, you go to details and where is Valheim? You have to search Valheim, okay? Oh, there it is, right? Okay. So after this, right click on it until this window open up and set priority and set it to high. Change priority. Okay. Now uh, note that I already said this, but again, a reminder, you need to do this every time you reboot your PC or when you restart your PC. So I think that's pretty much about the steps, the, all the three steps. Uh, you don't really need to do step three all the time but it will give you the most uh, fps okay okay let's go and start doing only the two steps that i gave you it's fine it will give you around 90 until 100 fps uh well at the, at the highest at least and it can drop until maybe 70 or 60 fps but it's not as bad as you know 40 fps as you can see right now i am at 60 fps because i have 1060 um, GTX so that's not a good thing but we are above 40 and it is quite good quite smooth as you all can see right here uh, no more 40 FPS as you can see right there but before at the first intro that I gave you like you can see right there uh, it is around uh, maybe 40 FPS and it will not uh, go anywhere near 50 FPS or even 60 FPS everything is very high um, a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte tends to be a bit of a budget or a lower end PC. So as you can see, maybe if we lower the settings, we can get 100. Maybe. Let's go and check this out. Let's go to medium first. Why not? Medium. I mean, it is stable. 60 FPS. Okay. Cool. Maybe there's a cap. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, th I don't think that changed much. Maybe we should set it to low. So you can see the change. Yeah, in low, I got around 60 till 70 FPS, which is very nice. Before it was like only 40. I mean, it works, okay? But come on guys, do you really want to play this at low? I mean, this is not the competitive game. It's not like Valorant. It's not like uh, Warzone. It's not like Apex where you need all the FPS in the world. This game is about relaxing, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye, guys.